I'm Helen Barclay from EnviroDNA. We've recently finished a citizen science project working with a couple of great land care groups in West Gippsland, investigating farm dam biodiversity. I think this project's been really interesting and innovative. I think it's been terrific that we've been able to hook into some of the top scientists and, and us as Landcare members can then use their knowledge and their technology for us to be able to identify the types of species that are occurring in our farm dams. You know, obviously farm dams are there for productivity purposes, but we believe there could also be some ways in which we can think about farm dams from an ecological perspective and, and a way in, in making farming more sustainable. What do you think yes. we might find in your dams? Obviously frog species, I know I can hear those. I don't know whether you can pick up bird life, but I've seen a boobok bowl down there. I, as you know, I'm hoping that you'll find a platypus. <laughs> Landholders and locals have come together looking for traces of wildlife DNA using an innovative technique called environmental DNA. What we're trying to do is get the uh, fine particles that are in the water, especially the DNA from animals, go through and get captured in this very fine filter. So we're pushing water through the filter and hoping the DNA particularly is caught in the filter and see what's visiting the water and what lives in the water. We've been able to uncover a whole range of different species of wildlife and we've got the conversation started around the opportunity that farm dams have to support biodiversity. I'm looking forward to finding the results to see personally what's in my dam. It was good to go and have a look at a few different dams and just see different styles, fenced, unfenced, you know, whether or not the cattle have been in it or how much growth there is around it to filter the water. Like many of my friends who are farmers, I'm water and soil are critical and the quality of each is, is vital. But, but I've always had an interest in, in I suppose that slightly overused term of trying to leave the place better than you found it. Mm. Over spring and autumn, we collected more than 100 eDNA water samples across 18 farm dams, all ranging in size and condition. Then off the samples went to the EnviroDNA lab where DNA was extracted and analysed specifically looking for vertebrate species and crustacean species. Lots of expected animals popped up like the Australian wood duck, very prevalent, the short finned eel and, and many different frog species. And some of the more unexpected are rakali, so that's the Australian water rat, often mistaken for the platypus, which we also picked up. And most excitingly, the blue-billed duck, uh, which is an endangered species. Bat species, uh, the Australian bush rat, and even a sugar glider. I thought it was really interesting that the results were different between the spring and the autumn samplings. I didn't think there would be so much variation, but there was a significant variation is that perhaps we need to do more monitoring in different times of the year when different insects, animals, birds are, are breeding and, and perhaps migratory birds are coming in, things like that. This project has proven to be an innovative way of engaging the community. People have learnt about a new scientific tool for detecting wildlife and actually undertaken it themselves. Importantly, we've got the conversation started about the value of farm dams beyond just productivity. We can improve our farm dams to better support wildlife and biodiversity in agricultural landscapes.